Only a year ago, China was reeling under the wave of coronavirus, but the country seems to be bouncing back already. China has shown a 2.3% growth for 2020, which makes it the only major economy to have grown during that year. But the big question is this, how does China grow so fast? Just last year, it took them just five days to build a 1,500-room hospital in Nangong, a city in Hebei province. It was an amazing feat of engineering and logistics that defied all odds. And let's not forget when workers in Wuhan province erected a 1,000-bed hospital in just over a week. What makes the country so organized that it can plan, develop, and complete projects at such an amazing pace? Well, today, we are putting on our thinking caps and asking ourselves how China is growing so fast. But before we show you all the amazing development that is going on in China, be sure to like the video if you enjoy, subscribe to Tech Division, and click the bell icon to never miss out on our latest uploads. Here we go! China's economy is booming. China's economic boom is nothing short of amazing. The country's national prosperity has improved the lives of hundreds of people and urbanized its citizens faster than any other country on the planet. China is also home to a rock-solid infrastructure with a strict system of organization in place. The country already has the world's biggest airport, some of the tallest skyscrapers in the world, and the world's largest dam. There are also several mega-projects being planned for the future. Economic reforms, the main course. China appears to be light years ahead of the rest of the world. One possible cause of the country's rapid growth are the economic reforms the country adopted in 1978. China released state control of all productive assets and encouraged privatization. It liberalized foreign trade and investment and invited foreign businesses like KFC, who opened up their first store in Tiananmen Square in 1987. China relaxed all state control over pricing and started investing heavily into industrial production and education. The strategy was a resounding success. Improvement of infrastructure by privatizing its assets and inviting foreign businesses into the country, there grew a need for an improvement in communications, logistics, and infrastructure. China responded by allocating a staggering budget of $300 billion on 40,000 kilometers of high-speed rail projects, committing itself to sustainable public transport for its 1.5 billion citizens. The country's economic reforms also upped its production capacity, one of the main reasons behind its economic growth. The country has been investing in new factories, manufacturing machinery, and communication systems. The results should be obvious to any consumer. Almost everything today is made at least in part in China, including the laptop or mobile device you're using to watch this video. China believes in mega projects, and mega projects need mega machinery. Take, for example, the country's awesome bridge building cranes. The SLJ900, also known as the Iron Monster, was designed to be one of the largest cranes in the world and it was used in the construction of the country's mega Zizong Sichuan Railway. The SLJ900 was built by the Beijing Well Joint Machinery Company, and it measures 300 feet long, 24 feet wide, 30 feet tall, and weighs 580 tons. China's Mega Bridges China's vast landscape is often crisscrossed with rivers and rugged terrain. To improve connectivity, the country has built mega bridges like the Xijiang Railway Bridge. It's the longest railway-only arch bridge in the world. There's also the 164-kilometer-long Dangyang Kunshan Grand Bridge, which is part of the Beijing to Shanghai High-Speed Railway, the longest single bridge in the world. Most of these viaduct-style bridges need monster machines like the SLJ900, and China is basically the only one producing them. Another example of mega machinery used to erect these mega bridges is the even larger Kunlun machine, which can erect a 1,000 ton box girder, a support beam of a bridge, with a maximum span of 40 meters. The machine was used in the building of the gigantic Maishao Bay Bridge, a huge sea crossing in the Fujian province of southeast China. China's Maglev Trains Running alongside the high-speed railways will be China's maglev trains, which are being built in cities like Shanghai. In January of 2021, the country unveiled a prototype for a high-speed maglev train capable of reaching speeds of 620 km per hour. The train will run on high-temperature superconducting HTS power, so it will appear like it's floating on the magnetized tracks. The prototype was unveiled by Chengdu City. The maglev line is being built with an eye on the 2022 Olympics 
Six. It will connect Beijing and the host city of Zhangjiaoku, cutting the travel time between the two cities from 3 hours to 47 minutes. China has also debuted a new bullet train with a unique design that will allow it to withstand freezing temperatures. The CR400 AFG train can travel up to 350 kilometers per hour in weather as cold as minus 40 degrees Celsius. Power Generation Beyond improving communication and connectivity throughout the country, China is also devoting a huge chunk of its resources to power generation projects like the Monster Three Georges Dam, a hydroelectric gravity dam that spans the Yangtze River in Yichang province. It's now the world's largest power station in terms of capacity. In fact, the dam is a world record-breaking structure that yields around 112 terawatt-hours or a trillion watts annually. China doesn't waste time with bureaucracy. One huge factor contributing to China's ability to execute its projects at lightning speed is the permissions and sanctioning process. Rather than endless avenues of bureaucracy found in other countries, China just goes ahead and does what it wants or needs. In other countries, projects are delayed by environmental concerns or made to make expensive changes in the plans to adhere to various regulations set by local, state or national governments. In the West especially, the cost of acquiring private land and the legal ramifications there of make it a long and expensive process. In China, that is not the case. If the government wants your land, it will take it with due compensation but no right to appeal. These factors make projects develop faster than in the rest of the world. Its ongoing mega projects. Currently, China is expanding the Shanghai Urban Rail Transit System with an estimated completion sometime in 2023. The project includes a $44 billion infrastructure project planned to add six subway lines and three intercity railways. Not satisfied with having the largest airport in the world, the country is further expanding Beijing Airport so that it will eventually be bigger than Dubai's Al Maktoum International Airport in cost, total square miles and capacity. Terminal 1 has already been designed by the late Saha Hadid and will showcase a number of sustainable design concepts in a futuristic building setting. Exports have been increased. China's exports hit an all-time high of $2.6 trillion in 2020, and their trade surplus with the United States reached a record $316.9 billion in 2021. The country has also seen growth in employment as the economy created 11.86 million jobs during 2020. It's China's production power and industrial development that is giving a large boost to the economy, which is aided by improvements to the country's infrastructure and policies that make it a desirable hub for for international business. With such a well-organized infrastructure in place, it's only right to assume that it's one of the main reasons why China is developing so fast. Let us know what you think about this down in the comments below. And before you go, don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe to Tech Division. Till next time.